Our partners at Civil Beat often highlight the high cost of living in Hawaii, and tonight reporter Anita Hofschneider looks at some of the struggles, even for people receiving those rental subsidies. Welcome, Anita. Well, thank you for having me. So tell us about what these people are encountering. What program are we talking about? We're talking about the Housing Choice Voucher Program, which most people know as Section 8. It's a federally funded program um, that thousands of Hawaii residents are taking advantage of, and the subsidy is a, an average of $1,000 per month in Honolulu. Now that sounds pretty generous, and you cite a federal study that says that rental subsidies are actually more beneficial than other techniques for helping people with housing, but for a lot of folks, it's a pretty tr tricky thing. Yes, it really isn't easy, actually, in, in light of Hawaii's current housing crisis and the lack of affordable housing. A lot of people are looking for months and months and not finding a place to rent. And then you factor in the bureaucracy. Yes, that's a big deterrent to a lot of landlords participating. You know, they have to fill out paperwork and they have to get their apartments inspected, and sometimes it can take up to a month to, to, for everything to get done. And that's a month of lost rent, so many people just don't want to participate. And for some, when you say Section 8, there is a bit of a stigma as well. That's true. If you go on Craigslist, you'll see lots and lots of ads that say no Section 8 or no HUD. And that makes it really difficult for a lot of people with those vouchers to find housing because some landlords are worried that they won't be able to treat the property correctly or that they will damage it. Now, these are just the people that need that affordable housing the most. So how do we get past these things? Well, there are lots of ways, and the city and county of Honolulu and the state are, are looking at various ways. Um, the city of Honolulu is looking at a tenant education program that they might, want, they might implement at some point, and the state public housing authority is looking at bringing on more inspectors to make the process go more smoothly. Yeah, so important. We see so many families just teetering on the edge, such an important program. Without a doubt, a real sense of desperation for a lot of folks out there. We've got a full link to the article on our website. Anita spent a lot of time working on it, so we want you to go read it. Thank you so much for joining us. And Kenny, we're going to send it back to you.